liar. Okay, ladies, are you dating a low value man? This week I did a video on dating habits of high value women and you guys love that video so much that I thought I would follow it up with an easy checklist to identify low value men. The quickest way to start to level up, to start to evolve into the high value women that I know you are is to stop, cease and desist dating low value men immediately. Easier said than done, so I'm gonna give you 12 traits of low value men. I want to give you three very important points of clarity. One, setting high expectations for yourself. Saying no to disrespectful treatment does not make you a man hater. It does not make you bitter. What I've noticed about low value men is that the second women start calling them out on it or setting higher standards, these guys feel threatened. So what they do is they throw nasty comments at you, put you down, denigrate you, you know, basically be schoolyard bullies. And to those people, I would say C point number one, three, five, and 11, point made. Secondly, high value men will probably think, yeah, she's right. If somebody was treating my sister that way, I would not like it. They're not going to be angry or upset because they know that I'm not referring to them. And believe me, there are a lot of high value men in the world. You need only look for them. Your opportunities raise as your standards raise. The higher of the bar that you set for yourself, the more high value men you will attract into your life. And the more apt you are to see the world filled with good opportunities and good men versus uh, shall I say a bucket of deplorables because those kind of guys aren't going to be attracted to you anymore. Third, the term low value man has nothing to do with a guy's financial position. And I want to be really clear about that because candidly, the first time that I saw the term, oh, that's just like really distasteful. It has everything to do with the way he sees himself and then in return, the way he treats women that make him a low value man. So without further ado, let's get started with the 12 traits of low value men. Okay, for purposes of shorthanding this, I'm going to refer to low value men as LVMs. LVMs have anger issues. You know the kind of guys that I'm talking about. They get way, way, way too aggro about any little slight, any little perceived cut on them. Somebody accidentally goes left instead of right. Somebody accidentally cuts in front of them on the freeway. This is the type of guy that just flipping loses it to the point that you're thinking, um, and guess what, ladies? One of our best defense mechanisms is our sense of intuition. Our sense of intuition is heightened because it is how we have learned to protect ourselves over the years. You can usually spot a guy that has anger issues, if not a first date, usually a second date. When you look at him, you can tell he's trying really hard to mind his P's and Q's, but you can see it in his energy and the way he almost imperceptibly tenses himself that he's irritated or angry about something. If you've been with somebody that has anger issues, you can probably look back to date one or two and think, you know, he did a couple things, but I just chose to ignore it at the time. Listen to your gut, avoid guys with anger issues. Honestly, it is only a matter of time before that is visited upon you. And listen, do you really walk want to walk around on eggshells the rest of your life, like trying not to annoy him, trying not to make him angry? No, you don't. You have better things to do and more positive places to invest your energy. Quick side note, y'all. A lot of these traits are from my book, 22 Badass Rules for Women. Women. Rules that badass women follow and you can too. It talks a lot about setting standards and about dating. I'll put the link for that below. It's on Amazon and I think you can get it in a couple days. It's a great read for either yourself or if you have a friend that's in the dating scene or a lot of my friends honestly gave it to their daughters because it was that good. Pat, pat, pat rubbernecking and cheating. I lump these two together because I think they go, well, they can go hand in glove. Everybody once in a while is gonna go, ooh, he was cute or ooh, she's good looking. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the guy that you're with that constantly is doing this or that or that. Enough to the extent that it just makes you uncomfortable and it's just flippin' annoying. Those are the guys that I say are always looking for the BBD, the bigger, better deal. Here's the thing with that. They will never be satisfied because it has zero to do with how you look and it has everything to do with his insecurity that he feels he always needs to be looking for something better than what he has. And you know what happens with those guys? They never find it because it's inside of them, not
not external to them. I'll tell you a quick story. I was um, probably 20 years old and I was working at Nordstrom in between high school and college. This guy had been after me to go out with him for probably a year and a half, which when you're 19 is like forever. I finally agreed to go out with him. He takes me to dinner. First of all, he wants to split an entree and I'm like, ugh. Really, I'm hungry. No, I'm not splitting an entree. Afterwards, we go out to a club. We're gonna go dancing. Of course, I had fake ID, I know. We're having fun. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have a nice time and ride this one out. And I swear you guys, like this guy who had wanted to date me for like, you know, a very long time. He had his back to me dancing with this group of girls in back of me. So I kind of ignored him. He kept doing it. And I'm like, this is disrespectful. Did I get angry with him? Did I call him out on it? No. <laughs> I said, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, I went down the street where I knew a bunch of my friends were and I just left him there with his short self. I ran into him about six months later. He was with a bunch of friends and he thought he'd be cool and call me out on ditching him. And I said, well, you begged to go out with me for a year and a half and then you were a jerk. So you got what you deserved. <laughs> oh God. The point is you don't deserve to be treated that way. And if a guy is rubbernecking for me, that's exit stage left. If he's cheating, that's more a commentary on him. Things that he's wrestling with that have nothing to do with you. Look, some of the most beautiful women in the world have been cheated on. It has nothing to do with you, zero. Those types of guys are not worth your time. Look, there's a lid for every pot and you deserve somebody that is interested in building a happy, solid, long-term, happy life with you. And that's not it. Okay, y'all, two quick shout outs. My first shout out is to my girl, Birdie Culture. I love, love, love your heartfelt comment on my video, Why We Don't Have Kids. Thank you so much for opening your heart. I really appreciate it. And thank you for being a part of the community. I love having you here. My second shout out is to my girl, Natalia Zaff. I hope I pronounced that right. Natalia, thank you so much for being a part of the community. If you would like a shout out, please be sure to comment below. I have brand new content every Tuesday and Friday, and we would love to have you as part of the community. Just be sure to subscribe below. I would greatly appreciate it. I don't think I need to tell you guys this, but any type of a bully is somebody that has low self-esteem. They are always weak, cowardice people. And you know why? Because these are the ones that pick on people that they feel are weaker than them, people that they feel very confident cannot hit back or cannot hurt them. That's what a bully does. I mean, we have them in political offices and we have them in our daily lives, right? If you're dating someone who's a bully, even if he hasn't visited on you, but you've seen him behave that way to other people, exit stage left, you guys. I mean, aside from the fact that he's just an ass, something like that can really lead to a lot of problems down the road. At some point, he's going to pick on the wrong person and there's going to be trouble and you don't need that drama in your life. I know personally of a guy who was known around town as being a really big bully and he was huge. I mean, the guy was like, man, I wanna say like six foot six, 380 pounds, like all roided up. I mean, he was really scary. He picked on the wrong person. They got in a bar fight. The big guy threw the other guy through a window. The guy died and homeboy is sitting in prison and has been for the past 20 years. That's kind of extreme. You do not want to hitch your star to somebody who's a bully. It never ends up happily for you or for him. Is he controlling? Look, if he's telling you what friends you can talk to, what you can wear, how you should dress, where you can go, listen, you are a grown ass adult. You don't need anybody telling you what you can and cannot do. There has to be mutual trust in a relationship and both parties should be able to live their life within reason being in a relationship without the other person just completely stifling you. You should be able to go have a cocktail with your girlfriends every once in a while. The healthiest relationships, again, are one where there's mutual respect and there's mutual trust and they allow their partner the freedom to enjoy their life. Liar! Big, small, or major, lying is a part of their fabric. He lies about things that are so dumbass weird to lie about. You're like, why did you lie about that? Don't waste your time trying to figure out why he does it, why he lies and trying to unravel it. Ah, isn't it exhausting? Don't you have better things to do? Yes, you do. This is the kind of dishonesty where you just don't know what to believe anymore. And every time he tells you something, there's that pit in your stomach that goes, I don't know whether he's telling the truth. When you start to feel that, listen to it. And in my opinion, 
exit stage left. A low value man is disrespectful to you, to other women, and to other people. You guys know it when you see it. These are the types of guys that make you feel bad about yourself, that make you feel that you're not worthy, you're not good enough, you don't know what you're doing, you can't make decisions, that you're incompetent. That's what I'm talking about. And they do this because they themselves are weak and insecure. If you feel good about yourself, their little spidey senses say she's not going to want to be with me for very long. And please do not justify it, I'm telling you. If he says, you're a fat cow, and your immediate thought is, well, I am kind of overweight, no. No high value man, and high value men, please back me up on this. Would you ever say that to a woman? No. You know why? It's rude, it's mean. No high value man says that. And if you are with somebody that is treating you that way, get the flip out of there. Not cool. Low value men get overly fixated on your looks. Why? Well, flip, who knows why. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look at your significant other and go, hotness. Look, Oliver and I have been together 21 years and it makes me feel good that he's proud to say this is my wife, that he still thinks I'm hot. But low value men take that to the extreme. They're hyper, hyper critical. You feel that they're being critical. You feel the scrutiny of it. That's not something that you want. Look, unless you're planning on dying early, we're all going to age. And we go through times when we're not looking our best, we're not feeling our best, we've had sickness. That's part of being a human being. And if you're with somebody that you feel constantly criticized and scrutinized, you know, it's wearing on your soul. High value men tend to look at their wives or their girlfriends that they love more than anything. And as they both go through life and age together, they legitimately think, she looks the same as when I met her. Like my dad looks at my mom and he's like, your mom looks exactly the same. I'm like, okay, well, yes, my mom kind of does look exactly the same. Oliver, my husband will say, you look the same. You actually look better. And I'm like, okay, I don't look the same, but thank you. And you know why? Because a high value man with the woman he loved sees her soul not reliable or true to his word. How frustrating is this, you guys? Look, we're human beings, stuff happens. Sometimes you have to cancel. Sometimes you need to reschedule. Sometimes you just forget, right? I've done that too. But as a general rule, if you feel and know in the pit of your stomach that if he says he's gonna do something, you're crossing your fingers hoping that he does, that takes so much stress and effort. I just, I don't know why you would do that. It's being able to depend and rely on the other person. That it's really important. It's not my fault. It was rigged. Low value men don't take responsibility for their actions or for things that happen to them. Other people, other circumstances are always to blame. He's never wrong. It's kind of that victim mentality. Right, wrong, or indifferent. There's always that pattern of, it wasn't me, it was them. They're ganging up on me. They rigged the deal. It wasn't fair. Give me a flipping break. If you've been with him a while, I'll bet that you have fallen in the line of fire on that too. If you're late for something, if something goes awry, I'll bet it was like, it was your fault. You should have been driving faster. It kind of doesn't end. In contrast to that, high value men, just like high value women, experience challenges, failures, and difficulties too. The difference is that regardless of fault, the high value man will take a look at, okay, these are where the cards laid. They'll figure out a way around the challenge. They're not a victim, they figure figure out solutions. They understand that shit happens. Now let's figure out what to do moving forward. And that's why they usually move forward in life. Okay, I'm, I'm, this is so obvious, but I'm going to include it. Physically abusive behavior. I don't even know where to go with that. It's just a flat out no, no. Pushing, shoving, slapping, hitting, uh, verbal abuse is not okay. Walk away. A guy that thinks it's okay to like hit, shove, slap women um, is more than a low value man. He's a criminal. Let's just call a spade a spade. He's a criminal. I don't care what trauma he's experienced in his life. I don't care what circumstances he's had to endure. We've all had things that we've had to handle in our life, but we don't react that way. It is not your job in this lifetime to be his fixer, and it is not your job to be his punching bag. Some women feel compelled to be compassionate or understanding or trying to help him work his way through it. 
Why? Literally, there are millions of men in the world and there are a lot of good quality, high value men that understand how to treat you right and are just looking for the right woman. You deserve those kinds of guys, not hanging around fixing somebody who's basically treating you like crap. Let them marinate in their own misery. As a grown adult, it is up to him to figure out why he feels that way, why he is doing what he's doing. That's what professional help is for. It is not your cross to bear, so let it go. The low value man takes rejection personally. Nobody likes to be rejected. It doesn't feel good, especially if it's like in dating, you like somebody, you're hoping to go out with them, or you are going out with them and they break up with you. It's hard not to take it personally, I get it. The low value man goes a lot further than just feeling bummed or let down. For him, getting rejected is intensely personal and he tends to really lash out about it. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. He's the guy who asks you to dance or asks for your phone number. And if you say no, thank you, he's like, bitch, that guy. Like, um, okay, we're not 12 years old anymore. Grow up. In contrast to that, the high value man and high value guys back me up on this. They'll probably be bummed because who wouldn't be, but he will be respectful. He might say something like, okay, thanks or okay, no worries. The high value man understands that, you know, listen, for whatever reason, she wasn't interested, but you know what? The right one will be. He doesn't take it personally and he doesn't lash out at you. Okay, y'all, so those are some of the traits of low value men. If I missed anything, I always love hearing from you. Please be sure to comment below. And until next week, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Yeah. 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 One step.